Now that we have learned about monitoring, let's see what observability is. Monitoring and observability are not competing or contradicting topics. Monitoring is in fact part of the observability concept. To use monitoring, we need to know what to monitor in advance. For example, we need to know that we want to monitor the CPU usage. With observability, we can detect or anticipate the problems we haven't even thought of yet. Using monitoring only tools, we may end up in a situation called tool sprawling, which means that we will end up using different tools that are not necessarily coherent. But with observability, we can gather actionable data from the entire system in a way that it gives us a holistic view of the entire system and tells us where, when, and why an issue occurred. In observability, we make sense of different types of metrics and data that we have collected from various parts of the system. Going back to our example of a dashboard in a car, we said that a dashboard gives us an idea about the engine RPM, the speed, and it shows us alerts such as the engine light being on, the battery light being on, and the oil light being on. But it doesn't tell us why the engine light is on or why the battery is on. To understand why the engine light is on or why the battery light is on, we have to take the car to a mechanic. A mechanic attaches a device to a car, normally to a port called ODB, and then pulls in more data. And looking at that data, they understand exactly where the error comes from and then they can fix it. Putting it into one table, we can compare monitoring alone versus observability like this. Monitoring alone is deciding what you want to keep an eye on before collecting data and it's better suited for monolithic architecture where failure points are anticipated and it primarily tells us when and where an issue occurred. However, observability is better suited for modern complex and distributed systems, for example, a microservices based system. And it tells us why an issue occurred, not just when and where it occurred. It helps us anticipate the unknown unknowns, which means that we don't necessarily need to know what we are going to monitor in advance. With the information we collect through the process of observability, we can anticipate the problems that don't exist now, but may arise later. 